In this video, we're gonna cover some maintenance actions on MR1, primarily as it relates to lubricating the ball screws, the linear bearings, and then the Z-axis lead screw. Um, so you're gonna need a couple of different items. Uh, first, you're gonna need um, just a tub of uh, lithium-based grease. I've got this tub, you can get it at basically you know, any auto parts store, um, they carry it. Uh, brand's not really important, just make sure it's lithium-based grease. Um, and then you're also gonna need a grease gun so you can um, basically shoot grease uh, through Zerk fittings into the linear bearings. And then you're gonna need a couple of different Zerk fittings. Um, you're gonna need a um, six millimeter Zerk feed fitting uh, to fit up to the linear bearings on the X axis and Y axis. And then you're gonna need a four millimeter uh, Zerk fitting for greasing the Z axis linear bearings. Uh, so I'll start first with um, basically the process that's used to grease the ball screws. Now these ball nuts, they come with oil ports, but our experience is that it works much better to um, apply grease directly to the ball screws and then let the, basically the ball nut run over that, those grease sections and it works, the grease works its way into the ball screw to, or sorry, the ball nut to coat all the rolling elements. So that's what um, we typically do that works really, really well. Um, and the process is basically just, you know, taking the lid off the grease, taking a dab of grease and basically just rubbing it onto the ball screw on each side of the ball nut. So it'd be on this side and then the other side. And then basically jogging the, um, in this case would be the X axis back and forth to get all that grease worked into uh, the ball nut and then into all of the thread roots on the ball screw. Uh, it's the exact same process for doing the Y axis ball screws. And since it's such an easy process, we recommend doing this about once a week. If you're running your machine daily, once a week to do that is, is kind of a good cadence to be um, lubricating your ball screws. Um, for the lead screw on the uh, Z axis, which is not a ball screw, it's a regular Acme lead screw on this machine. Uh, it's done the exact same way, except basically what you'll do is jog the Z axis all the way up and you'll expose, you know, about four inches or so of uh, lead screw in that exposed um, section, you'll go ahead and basically apply grease to and then jog the Z axis down into that area and get that grease worked up into the lead nut. Um, and that'll um, basically just optimize performance of the uh, Z axis lead screw, keep it lubricated. Um, that covers the screws on the machine. As far as the, um, as far as the linear bearings are concerned, these are pre-greased in the factory. So these are already packed with lithium grease, uh, which is good for about 500 hours of use. So 500 hours of, of actual machine running time uh, is, is what the spec is for these bearings when they're grease lubricated, uh, especially considering that the relatively low travel speeds of MR1 um, doesn't, uh, it doesn't um, stress these bearings too much. So that's why we can get away with kind of long um, lubrication intervals, but so every, every, uh, you know, every 500 hours or, you know, roughly every six months is when you're going to want to come and, uh, you know, uh, uh, basically pack more grease into these bearings. Uh, so to do that, these, these bearings don't come with Zerk fittings installed. So you'll need to get a, for the X axis and Y axis, a six millimeter Zerk fitting. You'll basically unscrew the, uh, screw on, on, um, the face of the linear bearing. So you'll take that out, you'll put the Zerk fitting in, you'll use your grease gun, uh, shoot a few pumps of grease into the bearing, and then you'll put the, you'll take the Zerk out, and put the cap back in. And similarly, you'll do that on the um, Y axis bearings as well. Uh, for the Z axis, it's a little bit different. Um, they're a little bit harder to access. So to get to those, you're gonna wanna take the spindle cover off um, you're going to need to be able to jog the machine up and down to get access to those, uh, those, um, those plugs. Essentially, it's the same, though. You'll basically unscrew the uh, plugs, uh, screw the 4 millimeter Zerk fitting in, shoot a couple pumps of grease into it, and then replace the cap. Um, I typically, when I'm shooting grease into these bearings, I like to see just a little bit of evidence of grease coming past the seals. That's kind of a good way to um, know that you've got enough lubrication. But... Typically, a uh, regular grease gun, you know, three, two or three pumps is, is good enough to make sure you got enough grease going into them. Uh, 
Other than that, that's basically the, the gist of the maintenance that's required on this machine. Um, and if you guys have any questions at home, feel free to reach out to our team. Thanks.